Happy Easter, boys and girls. It's so good to see you today. So today I wanted to come on and give some shout outs for AR for last week. So last week was our first week that we were able to do AR at home. So I wanted to give some shout outs to some boys and girls who've really been working hard because I went in today, looked at the reports. Remember, AR is available at home and you can get to it through your class links page and you find that big R after you read a book and then you can take a quiz on that book. Remember I showed you in the previous video how to go and find out if a book is AR through the AR Finder. So you can go back to the previous videos I've shown uh, that I've actually made and given to you as a resource to figure those things out. And if you have any questions, you can always ask your teacher. You can always email Miss Rye also. So let's give a few shout outs and here we go. So I'm gonna start with the top five. So that means, um, actually I'm gonna start with last week I had a book about dogs and it wasn't an AR book, but then I showed a video um, about our staff dogs. And then I went on to tell you about another babe book that you could look at on Tumble Books and you could take an AR quiz. And so I had one student, I went in and looked, I told you I was gonna look, and I had one student, Stephanie, in Miss Kelson's class that actually took a test on that book. So way to go, Stephanie, I'm proud of you. So let's go on with the top five. So I pulled the top five students, that means the five in the entire school that have taken the most quizzes last week only, Monday through Friday since AR opened up at home. So here we go. Um, I'm just gonna name first name and teacher's name. Um, just for privacy. So um, top five, here we go, in kindergarten through first for, through second grade, I'm sorry. So Jasmine G in Miss Kelson's class, you rocked out and you earned 5.8 points just last week. You were the top one in the school last week for AR. Kylie S in Miss Jenkins room, you were right behind her and you had five points earned last week alone. Guadalupe in Miss Becerra's class was right there in third place with 4.0 points. Gabriella M in Miss Kelson's class had 3.4 points she earned just last week. And then Ariana B in Miss Caesar's class and Gabby M in Miss Monk's class, I almost said your last name, um, both had 3.0 points. So those were our top five in the school last week. But I also wanted to say, um, I wanted to give a little shout out to everybody in the, um, in the classes that took the most in each class. So real quickly, in Miss Armijo's room, Serenity, and Miss Avery's room, Isabella, and Miss Becerra's room, Guadalupe, in Miss Gaffney's room, we had a tie with three. And Miss Gaffney's class has been rocking out the AR, I'm going to tell you. Um, Emily, Annalise, and Jace. And Miss Hayes' class, Xavier, Miss Higginbotham, Kevin, Miss Ivy, Cameron, Miss Jenkins was Kylie. She was in second place last week with the most AR quizzes for the week. In Miss Kelson's class, Gabriella, Miss McDuffie, Zach Utzler. Oh, I said your last name, but it's okay, I'm sure. Shout out. Miss Monk, Jasmine, Miss Mullis, Carson. Miss uh, Schmidt, Sophia, Miss Bradlin, Lucas, Miss Sullivan, Lily, Miss Wade, Ariel, and Miss Walker's class, Kenyell. So you guys were had the top number of points in your class for just last week. That means you were taking those AR quizzes. I am so super proud of you. Now Miss Castillo's class, Miss Copeland, Miss Davis, and Miss Flood. Next week, I want to see somebody in your class take an AR quiz. So somebody in one of those classes needs to surprise Miss Rye and, and do an AR quiz this week, Monday through Friday. You have the whole week, all day. There's no time restrictions, and you can take a quiz on a book. So um, to top it all off, Miss, Miss Spradlin's class in kindergarten, you guys had the most in kindergarten taken last week. Um, six AR quizzes. Miss Gaffney had 43 AR quizzes last week. That is amazing. Way to go, Miss Gaffney's class. And Miss McDuffie was right behind you, so watch out. She might catch you this week. And Miss Monk 
had 29 quizzes. Now, I saw Miss Avery's little chit-chat this week. She's reading a book every week, every day this week for your boys and her boys and girls to take an AR quiz. So there's really no excuses for not taking AR. You just have to log in there and take the quiz. Now, I have an Easter story for you today. So if you, it's a short story. It's actually a blue book, but that doesn't matter because we can take any quizzes that we um, want right now at home. So because it's Easter, it's called Bunny Bus. And if you look there, Miss Wright has to go the right way of the camera. It's kind of hard to see. There's a little shiny cover. But Bunny Bus, and I'm going to read it to you today because hopefully you had a wonderful Easter today at home with your family. So here we go. Bunny Bus. It's so hard to read on these cameras, boys and girls. I'm telling you, it's really hard to get the camera in the book. Hurry, come, don't be late. There it is, outside the gate. We're running faster, wait for us. All aboard the bunny bus. I wonder if you had a bunny bus come by your house. Hop. Stop! Stop! They're hollering for the bus to stop. The bunny bus has room for you, your neighbors, your friends, and your cousins too. So jump up quick and wear your best. I bet some of you might have dressed up. I saw families on um, on the computer that got up this morning, got all their Easter uh, outfits on, and had a nice Easter at home. So jump up quick and wear your best. The bunny bus won't stop to rest. Hop, hop. You know what those little bubbles mean. That's what they're thinking. Stop. Up one hill, down another, squeeze in, sister, sister, and brother. Room for more? Of course, pile on. The bunny bus rolls on and on and on. I wonder where they're going. Hop, hop, hop. Stop! We're full to bursting on this book bus, but more and more and more of us come squeezing in. We need more room or else this bus just might go. What do you think the bus might do? If it gets too full, what could happen? Guess what happened? It went boom! Uh-oh. Too much on the bus, you think? Now what are they going to do? Full stop. No more hop. Oh, no! Bunny bus? Guess what they did? They tumbled out. Come on, one and all. Let's give this bus an overhaul. That means they're going to fix it. They'll figure out what's going on. Now it's time to hit the road, but this time we'll all share the load. Here we are. See what we've made? The Bunny Bus Easter Parade! The end. So that was the Bunny Bus Parade. Can you see the front of the book? Now here is the AR quiz. 
This is the quiz number that you're going to go into AR and look for. And I'm going to try and get it straight here. I got it so crooked. Here we go. It is 188313. And then you're going to make sure you look for this picture and the title Bunny Bus. I can't wait to see who takes this AR test this week. So I'll be looking to see and see who's going to be our top five, our top class, who earns the most points. I had somebody asking me about those SSYRA books. Don't forget that you can also see those. I've given those to your teachers to post to your site also. So boys and girls, I hope you have a great week. I'll be back with more books this week, so I will be looking to see who's reading and who's taking those AR quizzes for more and more practice. Have an awesome rest of the Sunday, and I'll see you this week. Bye!